Capital Kids. It's Pastor Lidjo again. I just wanted to say I love and miss you guys, and I hope you guys are doing well. Last week, I wasn't able to do a video because we have a little baby girl. Our little baby girl, my Hope Thomas, was born last Sunday at 4.30 in the morning, and both mama and baby, they're both doing well, and hopefully next video, we'll show you a little picture and or a video of her. Today, we'll show you a picture, and if you want to see Maya, here she is. Isn't she so cute? She smiles, she looks at us, she has these big eyes, and she looks like Miss Princey. Do you guys want to see a picture of Miss Princey? This is what Miss Princey looked like when she was born. Isn't it so cool how they both look alike? Well, actually, let's compare and contrast. So this is baby Maya, this is baby Princey. Don't they look alike? Both full of hair, full of eyes, and looking. Well, anyways, this is our little new baby girl, Maya Hope Thomas, and, and we welcome her to Capital Kids, and we can't wait for her to meet all of you guys and, and get to see all of your awesome faces and uh, make her new friends, and yeah, it's really awesome. So continue to keep us in prayer as we just venture off to become parents and to this little precious little one. So parents, if you're watching this video, please give us advice, tell us how it is, and, and tell us the awesomeness of raising up children in this generation. Well, anyways, we're just so grateful to have this video chat one more time and today and this week and we're going to continue our, our last message, our last series or our last moment on this series called Love Your City. And in this last video and I want to for this series, we we just want to conclude it by just saying how awesome it was to be with you or see with you guys how Serve Day was. This past Sunday was Serve Day and many of you guys partnered together with Capital Church and we went out and we went out to the city and we served. And that's what all of what Love Your City is all about, how we're not just, you know, consuming or feeding on just who God is, but we're actually doing it in actions and, and going out and, and serving and showing them who Jesus and what Jesus is all about. And that's what the message for today is about going out, doing something, about serving, no matter what, no matter what else happens, no matter what reward it may be, because you never know where that seed gets planted. Today, we're going to be talking about a story that Jesus actually shared, and it's called the parable of the sower. Now, in those times, uh, a sower was a farmer, a farmer who plants seeds and they make sure And if you were gardening or if you went out gardening with your mom and your dad, and especially right now you're planting moms, you want to make sure that the soil is good. You want to make sure that, you know, it's good soil. It's well watered, well light, well, well sun. Um, you want to make sure that there is good enough light and good enough water, good enough soil for the plant to grow. So in those times, the, the sower would plant in good soil where it's well lit, where it's well watered, where it's good soil. So Jesus tells the story to tell the people about how to not just hear the word, but to be a doer of the word. They were saying, Jesus tells the story about a man or a, a farm, farmer or sower who had a lot of seeds. He took all these seeds and he just scattered it, scattered it all around. Some fell on, uh, on the path where people tra trampled on or walked on and birds came and ate it. And others fell on a rocky path where, where it took a little bit root, but there was no moisture. The rocks just sucked it up. Others fell in thorns and, and thorns just choked up the seed and didn't, couldn't grow from these thorns. But now others fell in good soil where it was good water, it was good sun, it was the perfect place. And Jesus continues to tell them that and saying how these four different places represents how four different people live their lives. One, one, the seed that's cast out, maybe a place where birds come, where the enemy comes and he comes and just steals that word from them and that they can't do anything about it. Like they just, they just didn't want to receive it. It was just taken from them. They lost the opportunity. The second place where it fell on these rocky, rocky places, it talked about how the word may plant in your heart, but there is no root for it to take. It, there's no moisture. There's no comeback. You may just attend a church service one time, but you just don't come back again. That it just doesn't bear fruit. Now, the third one in the thorns was saying how there's so many pressure around you that it just consumes that word of God, that that word of God 
can't bear much fruit because there's so many different voices, so many different pressures, so many different influences that's bigger than the Word of God. And I say all these things because you are, you are all here hearing this message and hearing this Word, but it's up to you to decide what you do with it. See, I as a sower, I'm giving you the message or I'm giving you the word. I'm telling you that Jesus loves you just the way you are. And if you live your life worshiping him and reading your Bible and giving him priority and taking time out to seek him, then you will be like this good soil, bearing big, huge fruit and giving him the glory. Or you can be the sower and you're telling others about this message. Some may, some may, receive it but it may not bear much fruit others may have all these influences around them that bear it may not bear much fruit either or some others may hear the word but the enemy or things come in their way that take it from them so i encourage you today in the midst of all that's going on i want you to pray Pray that wherever you are, wherever you go, whatever you do, that you're able to pray and plant in good soil. What does that mean, Pastor Lijo? This means this. When you're in school, in your community, I encourage you to love your city to the point where wherever you are, you're, you're praying and believing that it is good soil. That you're able to give them the life in Jesus. You're able to show them through your actions and your words and your attitude what it means to show love, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, self-control. What it means to bear the good fruit. In result, that they would come and ask you, hey, where, where did you learn all this? How are you acting so differently? And you would say, well, it's because of Jesus in me and I'm making him famous that I'm choosing to love people, I'm choosing to do my best, I'm choosing to have fun, and I choose to know Jesus. And so as you tell them this, and as you, your actions show this, the seed that you're planting comes into good soil. And it's, it's our jobs to help that, cultivate that, or help that grow by continuing the conversation with them. So serve your city, love your city, get, get involved, get participate. If you're doing sports, help them out, show them what it means to be good sportsmanship and good attitude. So in all that you're doing, you're making him famous. You're planting your seeds. You're, you're scattering your seeds in the hopes that there will be good soil, that your word will bear much fruit. So in all that you do, make Jesus famous. This coming Sunday, we're starting a new sermon series called Stressed Out. I don't know about you guys, but I've been stressed out, especially being a new dad. And, and I've been trying to figure out scheduling and timing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I, don't, I can't even sleep. And, and some of you guys are so stressed out with all the school pressures of being online, being in school, being not in school, of being, doing all your homework in your bedroom or in your house or, or, or in your classroom, not leaving your classroom. And it's just like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? <sighs> stressed out. It's a new sermon series we're going to be talking about. And this Sunday, we're going to be talking about how to prioritize our time to make sure that we have the right priorities in place and the goal to help you to be less stressed and to give all your cares upon him. So as we continue on with these videos, I encourage you to love your city, to serve your city in any way you can. Plant the seeds. Don't give up. You are truly made for this. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this time. I thank you, God, that we have the privilege of technology to gather together, hear your word. I pray in all that we do, help us to love you, help us to honor you, help us to give you the glory. Help us to plant these seeds and scatter these seeds. And, and God, help us to pray that it will be good soil. And that, Jesus, you will open, up, open, open the hearts to receive your word. Help our actions, our attitudes, our life style to, to replicate who you are so that we can make you famous in all that we do. So bless this this week, and, and um, thank you so much for the baby Maya, and we ask that you bless this little baby girl as well. We thank you for all your love for us. We pray blessing over all the children. I thank you, Father, for your grace and your love. Blessing over the parents. We love you and we praise you. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.
As always, if you want to get connected, if you want to meet me in person or one-on-one, -on -one, we can uh, chit-chat on Zoom. Make sure your parents email me at lidjo at capitalchurchny.org. If this is your first time ever hearing the love of Jesus and hearing about this awesomeness, I encourage you to contact me at lidjo at capitalchurchny.org. We'll love to set up a Zoom call with you. And, and I'm so grateful that all of you guys are tuning in and watching these videos. I hope that you are blessed. And if you guys have any questions, please do contact me. I love you guys and have a great week. Can't wait to see you guys again next week. Have a great day. Bye.